so I have this pergola that we put up in here and I just have this blank wall here behind me so I want to do a little bit of an art project to see if I can add a little bit of decoration to the wall of my pergola. So I have these old placemats that have been sitting in my garage for literally a decade or more. I think I got them for like a dollar at like a clearance sale at Pier 1 Imports. And I think I'm going to try to utilize these to make some sort of decoration for the back wall of my pergola. I'm using this Rust-Oleum hammered metal paint to give it some shine and texture. I found these little pots at the Dollar Tree and I thought they were cute. I'm going to drill a couple of holes onto each side. Those will be used to then zip tie these through onto the placemats. I spray painted both sides of the placemats just to cover up all of the color because some of them were different colors. And then I just used some zip ties that I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm using them to pull together all of these placemats. What I did was simply zip tied the corners together so that I could create one continuous unit from six of the placemats. Now that the placemats are zip tied together, I'm just going to set it down and place my metal pots to see how I want to have it all arranged. Then I'm going to work zip ties through the metal pots and then up through the placemats. And I'm going to try to get it to go through both placemats so I can have it as extra holding power to make sure everything stays together. Once I have these all zip tied in, all I have to do is start working on my little potted plants. I got the pots, the foam, and all of the florals from Dollar Tree. You get three pots for a dollar, and you're going to need two pots per metal planter, so you need two sets for this project. I saved these little drainers and the little mesh holder to use in other projects in my garden. The floral foam comes four blocks to a package and you'll use two of these foam blocks per plastic pot. So now it's time to use your creativity and just place your greenery into the foam making sure that you have enough to cover up all of the foam in your plastic pot. Before I add my greenery, I'm going to want to make sure that this is secured to my wall and that it's level and centered. I'm going to be drilling and screwing through stucco, so I'm using this multi-material exterior screw. Now I can secure my planter to the wall and then all I have to do is start adding my potted plants. You could use real plants with this project and you probably want to drill some holes in the bottom of the metal baskets for drainage, but I wanted to use artificial because I didn't want any dirty water dripping down the back wall of my pergola. I 
I added some paper lanterns that I also got at the dollar store and this ties in with the decor that I already have in my pergola and will bring a nice little bit of light inside the pergola at night. I really think that this adds a nice texture and pop of color to our pergola area and I think it ties in all the greenery that's in our yard and gives us a perfect place to sit and enjoy our lovely backyard. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a little cute pergola project. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you'd give this video a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos.